Hello everyone, this is Junaid from Computer Elements and today we are going to take a look at the all new macOS Monterey that has been unveiled by Apple on WWDC. But before I begin, I would like to talk for a moment about this channel. And if you want to skip this part, then directly jump to the time shown on the screen. Okay, so the last time I uploaded a video on this channel was back in 2017. I was in high school back then and I made random uh, tech related videos. After that, I had some problems and due to lack of time, I had to discontinue my YouTube. But now, again in June 2021, I'm restarting it again. I hope that you will show your love and support the same way you guys did that time. So yeah, enough talking, now let's begin. Alright, so here right in front of me, I have macOS Monterey developer beta running. A very early release of the operating system. And the public beta for the same will be available for download from July, as they always do. So I am running this operating system on my uh, right now 5k 27 inch 2017 iMac and um, if you are wondering what devices can run this new operating system then here is the list if you own a Mac which is older than this then you are out of luck as your device is officially dropped from support by Apple at this point you should consider upgrading it to the newer M1 Mac devices Okay, so uh, Mac OS Monterey isn't so much different than uh, Big Sur visually, but Safari has gone through quite a significant update. As here uh, you can see, mm, now uh, it doesn't have the tab bar and address bar separately like it did before. Now it's all together, as you can see it here. Now it's all together in a compact manner and occupies less area on the screen which is essential for smaller laptops like the 13 inch MacBook Air and Pro. But I think um, Apple should have placed a reload button right over here uh, because it's simply easier to click on a reload here instead of going instead of clicking on the three dots and clicking a reload. I think that in the um, next updates or in the, in the future updates they will add a reload button here which will be a handy add-on as well and previous version had this and I guess I, I hope that they will add it. Next thing we have here is the shortcut which was previously available only on iOS and iPadOS. Now you can automatize things in a similar manner like you did on your mobile devices. Now there are features which aren't available on this version of macOS Monterey as expected because it's a very early release and features need to be tested before they can roll out. Now features to be expected from this version of macOS are uh, my favorite, my most favorite, which is the universal control, which means that if you have two Macs side by side running Monterey, you can use a single pair of mouse and keyboard to control both of your Macs, which is really a welcomed feature in my opinion. And not only Mac, you can also control your iPad using the same. And yeah, beside controlling, you can also share content between devices. And only thing you need to do is click and drag. This is a great advancement over Sidecar which was introduced with macOS Catalina where you could use your iPad as a secondary monitor. And second in my list is AirPlay to Mac. Let's assume you are watching a movie on your iPhone or iPad and you wanted to cast it on a bigger screen. Previously you were able to do it uh, only to an Apple TV but now with AirPlay to Mac it's possible to cast it to Max as well. Although it was possible earlier but it was quite difficult and you needed to have an AirPlay server to handle that. But now with Mac OS Monterey it's quick and easy. And also there is the audio side of AirPlay to Mac where you can uh, stream audio from your iPhone or iPad directly to your Mac and use your Mac as a secondary speaker like uh, a HomePod, a Mini or HomePod. Now with Focus, you can go and filter out notifications while you are working and only choose 
what um, notifications you wanted to get while you were working so that you can concentrate more on your work rather than notifications and which and it was previously known as do not disturb as you can see here but the concept is same just the name has been changed a little bit and some features has been added now apple also talked about security improvements on their wwdc and with mac os monterey now features such as uh, hiding your ip hiding your email are going to come as well but uh, hiding the email also exists as of now but they're going to improve it quite a bit so we'll have to wait uh, for some f for some updates uh, before we can see how uh, those things will actually work now apple also talked about facetime with this release video calls via facetime are supposed to get more lively than ever with with what they call spatial audio now people on uh, video call will sound like they're coming from where the where the person is positioned on the screen while voice isolation ensures that the user's voice is crystal clear and uses machine learning uh, to eliminate background noise and wide spectrum allows all the sound in the area to come through so participants can hear everything although i'm a bit unsure that if these features are, go are going to come into the intel max but max with m series processors um, they are surely going to come now another feature i would like to talk about is share play now this is quite an amazing feature by apple with share play suppose you are on a video or audio call via facetime you can share your movies tv shows or music to the other person who is on a call with you and both of you can enjoy it in real time and that's not only limited to two person uh, it can be done with multiple persons so yeah it's a cool feature in my opinion so let me know what you think in the comment section below although as i told these features are not uh, yet available on mac west monterey yet they will be added in future updates and i will do a follow-up video once that happen and lastly let's talk about bugs so being a very early release i'm pretty surprised to see that this is relatively more stable than big sur beta which came out last year although i did discover some bug and the major one being unresponsive while my iMac went to sleep while um, i when i wasn't using it for a while uh, although like when i was trying to wake it up uh, when I was pressing the buttons on the keyboards, I was clicking on a mouse, nothing was happening, so I had to force restart it. So that was the major bug that I discovered so far. And the second one I did discover um, was with the music app that the play pause button wasn't working properly. And it has been only 6 hours since I have started using macOS Monterey. And till now I have not discovered any serious bugs as of now and I will definitely do a follow-up video if I do discover in the future. Also I will post another video testing how apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Photoshop performs under macOS Monterey so stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you get notified when I upload it. I will probably do it within 4 days. So please look for the description for the link in the description if you are watching it um, sometimes after. Alright, so with this we reach to the end of the video. And if you want to read more about macOS Monterey, I have some links down below in the description. Go check them out. And I hope that you like it. Hit the like button if you did and also subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.